Hey everybody, welcome back to Nico Brothers. Today we're going to walk around Copart, and I'm just kidding. I read you guys in the comments, you want us to, just, you want to see us rebuild something, so hey, we checked this one out, we bought it in the Copart auction as we walked around, and then we're going to show you how the rebuild process works. So basically 2021 Chevy Silverado, it was salvaged out of water damage, and it has a couple minor dents and scratches here and there, but we checked it out there, it started right up, no check engine light, really smooth, I mean, it sounds great, looks great, so let's talk about the bad. Got a little scuff there, a little damage over there. Let's go ahead and check out the inside. That's where the real, it's like, it's, it's pretty bad, but no big deal, we'll get it right. So the game plan of this thing is to completely gut it, take it inside, take all the seats out, center dash, all that fun stuff, take the carpet out, go to the bare metal, see, make sure there's no standing water, pressure wash, purple power, all the interior, take it all apart, and salvage what we can. Oh yeah, look at that giant clip. There's a little wire. It's so funny. It's gonna look much better at the end. Ivan's gonna work on the body panels, get all that painted. I'm gonna work inside. Knock it out, Ivan. Let's do it. Seen better days, that's for sure. Oh, wow, guys, definitely nasty. You got your gloves on for this one. It's gonna be a great before and after, that's for sure. All this is gonna come out. It's gonna look good at the end. It's not the end yet. Sheesh. There we go, let those dry. Still gonna take them apart. We're probably gonna do the leather upholstery on it, but this way it'll be handling clean cloth versus nasty stuff. So yeah, that's not bad. Good thing it's like 90 degrees out here today. Beautiful South Carolina hot day. Let's keep going, get the inside done. And here we go guys, carpet is taken out. Didn't really see any water inside. It's kind of drying up, just a little, a lot of dirt. Man, these back seats are definitely a pain. So. <laughs> If you ever taking them out, you got clips, you got latches, you got bolts. Just watch a YouTube video, <laughs> how to remove back seats. That's a pain if you ever need to do it, but not too bad. Honestly, it looks good in the center, just all around looks kind of gross, but I'm just done clipping things, checking and stuff, and I don't see much corrosion, just a little bit right there. So I'm definitely gonna clean it all up. I mean, the module was good. We had no airbag light on, so that one never got that high. Just surface, surface dirt. But basically, I got my carpets strained up. I'm gonna purple power, wash them, clean them. My seats, get that cleaned up as well. Yeah, I think it's gonna turn out nice. Even these chairs are turning out pretty clean, so not bad. Let it dry out.
All right, guys, so I washed the inside, wiped it all down, vacuumed up the excess water, and now I'm gonna put the dehumidifier in there and leave it overnight to get any of the moisture between the cracks and the crannies kind of thing to really suck up all that water out and wipe it down again tomorrow, go through it again, go through all my connections. But yeah, looking good, that's the game plan. All right, guys, next day, got some water out of the truck for sure. I'm just in the air, but hey, I'm looking better, smelling better. I got the ozone machine in there as well, just to give it any, anything else. Nice. Okay, so next thing I wanna do is actually upgrade our cloth seats to leather. Might as well, They're definitely gonna add value to the truck. And since our other stuff was kind of rough looking, might as well get it upgraded. So I think it's a double win. We take off the old parts and we put on new better parts. Really wasn't too expensive. They have a lot of kits on eBay, so just shop around. We'll try this one out. Basically a lot of little flanges and clips. Take off the old skin and put on some new skin and hopefully upgrade the interior. It's gonna be fun. A lot of little pieces, definitely looks like a lot. I don't even know which is what so far. So it's, it's kind of a puzzle. But I think once we start taking it apart, the old match up with the new and just piece by piece, one, two, three, upgrade our truck interior. That'd be great. All right, guys, I'm gonna start with the front passenger seat. Basically, let's see what's going on behind this cloth, how much that water damage actually got in there. You can still kind of see spots, even though I pressure washed it, cleaned it, it's still kind of coming through. So we'll see what's on the inside, take it all apart, and hopefully it goes smoothly. It's been a little bit since I did this, so I might struggle a little bit, but no big deal. Even if it's your first time, guys, a lot of great tutorials on YouTube out there. Just start taking apart the obvious stuff, you know, and then Hopefully it'll come out together and then it gets easier and easier. So I'm gonna try not to have to take it apart, like take this piece completely physically off that part, just try to sneak under there, we'll see. So I'm gonna go at it and try to get this done because there's a lot of parts and one seat at a time, let's do it. guys just like that seat covers are off and honestly it doesn't look too bad there's the old seats came off pretty simply you know you got your little clips flanges zippers so it is still a little wet right there you can see so I definitely need to dry that out but overall not bad I'm just gonna let this bake a little bit get make sure there's no moisture inside make sure we get all the water out and looking good
All right, guys, there we go. Just like that, the seats are in and looking good. Now we can move forward and do the fender. That'll stretch out. These little wrinkles and stuff in the sun will kind of expand, so it'll form itself. No big deal. I'm happy with it. Time to work on this fender. Got a little kink there, a couple little things going on there. So let's go ahead and take that off. I haven't already painted one, so we have a fender. Let's take it apart. Looking pretty good over here as well. So I'm gonna check the oil, check the rear deck fluid, make sure everything's good. Cause it was a water flood, so make sure those aren't seeing any signs, but so far it's been running great. That's looking good. All right, guys, went for the first test drive. All the little pieces came together and it drove like a champ. Honestly, very smooth, no lights in the dash. Drove great, so I'm pretty happy about that because you can put all that time and effort into the interior, all these other things, and then the truck doesn't drive. But luckily, it's good to go. It's pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and talk about the price breakdown. Sorry about the wind, guys, I'm out here. It's warm and cold, you know, it's that time of the year. But let's talk about how much it cost, how much we put into it to get us in the road looking like that. All right, guys, going inside a little quieter in here so that's nice let's go ahead and talk about the breakdown so we got ourselves here a 2021 chevy silverado 1500 gas not diesel the last one i had was diesel but this one's gas still pretty cool i'm getting really good gas mileage almost 20 miles per gallon which is pretty great pretty awesome so we picked this up at copart after the fees after you know can't just talk about the winning bid i mean this is how much it costs to get home 14,948 so that's how much it was to pick it up I mean honestly it looked fine from the inch you know from the copart itself so it was just water damage except for all the mold and everything like that but it, it mechanically looked okay so shipping was 130 bucks had it delivered seat covers these seat covers right here only cost us 96 dollars which is a steel deal I just think it's a lot of labor and time but yeah great I think they're gonna just you know soften up a little bit but there's definitely some good deals out there for seat covers 100 bucks and you get yourself leather instead of cloth not too bad we are going to put a lift kit on it, which costs us $133. I'm still going to do that later. There's a couple other things. Running boards I want to put on $170. Why not? You know, might as well lift it up, make it look good. Got the cool wheels and stuff. Little running boards. The fender costs $333. Kind of expensive for a little piece of metal, but hey, I guess it is what it is. The little cover over there was another $100, and then paint was $20. Not bad. Not bad at all. So overall, plus or minus little things here and there. I know the tailgate's still damaged. There's other little things, you know, scratches and stuff. But hey, that still has a flood salvage title, which South Carolina could still drive legally on the road, so it's not a big deal. But overall, cost is $16,000. Nice looking truck. I mean, pretty sweet. This is 4x4. Got trailer brakes, electric parking, hill assist, all that good stuff. I mean, a lot of little features. Not fully loaded, I wouldn't say. But hey, it's getting there, and it's pretty nice. So under 16 a little bit more than sixteen thousand dollars we got ourselves a nice truck only forty six thousand miles on it but all right guys basically that's a wrap for today you know we actually did a rebuild and we're showing you how we got it where we got it from what we did to it to get it back to you know on the road kind of thing and then we just sell it locally here you know just facebook or craigslist kind of thing no big deal 
it's usually what we do but yeah thanks for watching guys thanks for joining us in this adventure of getting it who knows what's going to be wrong with it because it really was a chance we definitely took a gamble which is part of it you know you got to be able to take a risk for a good reward but sometimes it doesn't work out that well so crack transmissions engine swaps we have to do all that stuff too so that happens but thanks for joining guys leave some comments down below hope you like this rebuild and we'll catch you next time